It's very easy to install software on Ubuntu, but it might be a bit different from the way you're used to. So pay attention to this tutorial, it might be very helpful. On Ubuntu you have something called Software Center, that is by default on the Unity launcher. The Software Center is the place where you can find thousands of applications that are ready to be installed on your system. They are often tested and maintained by Canonical or by the Ubuntu community. You can either browse through the categories or type what you're searching. Once you've found something interesting, click on its line and then on Install. Type your password and wait for it to be installed. Now you can find the software you just installed using the Dash Home, the icon with the Ubuntu logo at the top of the launcher. We'll explain in detail how to find files, folders and applications in the next video. If you don't see the install button as described before, you can check the software sources that you are currently using. By default, Ubuntu will search a free and open source software repository, but you can also install proprietary software if you wish. If you're not familiar with the idea of software freedom, you can learn about it in our website, idyllix.net slash rt. It's worth taking a look at it. To install restricted or proprietary software and drivers, launch the Software Center and go to the menu Edit, Software Sources, and click the checkboxes Restricted and Multiverse. Now you can install these software using the Software Center. To play non-free media formats like Windows Media, QuickTime or Flash, search and install Ubuntu Restricted Extras. To play protected DVDs, press Ctrl-Alt-T and type the command line that appears on the video. You'll only have to do this once to install the necessary software. Take a look at the page help.ubuntu.com slash community slash restricted formats for more information about restricted formats and to understand why they're not included by default on Ubuntu. It's also possible to install software manually without using the Software Center, but we won't be talking about it yet. For now, the Software Center will do the job just fine. Next, you'll learn how to find files, folders and applications in your